So hello guys, once again welcome to another episode. We're we'll standing down at Birch Green Fisheries. Um, see it's looking good so far. Uh, the rain started already. Um, temperatures dropped quite significantly over the period of the last few days. Um, one rod's out already straight away pretty much on a solid bag. Um, fishing solid bags today. Um, I'll see how that fares. Been keeping my eyes open already. Not really any signs of fish. Loads of silver fish, you know, dying about. But that's to be expected. Um, but yeah, get the second rod out now and then uh, I can talk to you guys a little bit more. All right. Okay guys, so as I said, two rods are fishing at the moment. Um, what I'm doing, as I said, solid bags. Got a nice little mix up there, which I'll show you guys later on. And uh, one fishing, two little 10 millers, simple little uh, blowback rigs. And uh, yeah, got two on the orange, two on the fluoro green. Fluoro yellow, yellow, sorry. So uh, yeah, that's all out there. One thing I actually forgot to mention last time was that um, these are actually the infused fish oils from BM Bates actually winter infused so um, they respond a lot more better to colder water um, reacting a lot more giving off a lot more flavour um, so that's one thing I actually really forgot to do so I'm quite sorry about that but yeah winter infused fish oils um, give you the added, added advantage in the uh, in the winter time break down a little bit more easily not as viscousy so go through the water bring around the fish a bit more um, already had a liner on my left hand rod so definite indication of fish around at the same time I reckon it could be up the other end so Gonna give it until around nine o'clock, and then I might uh, have a little move. But um, yeah, just to uh, get, to get all that done, then I'll uh, run through what I've got in my little mix now. I reckon. Okay, guys. So right, as I said, I I'll just quickly run through the mix for you guys. So what I've got here: simple 60 by 100 cart crate solid bags. Got 50 in a packet. Really good value for money. That's great stuff right there. So that's what I'm using for the old solid bags. Um, obviously, the mixture itself. This is what I was using up at the heath last time as well. Um, didn't get a, bat, a bite on it, but um, I reckon Stephanie should have an effect over here. Um, oh, I've got, I've got some of the FT put in here. And I've simply gone through it a little bit with the old uh, quarter crusher, Redsco tangerine um, bottom baits in there, and uh, what I've done, a couple of the uh, 18 miller um, tangerine and butcher cassie pop-ups, simply crushed them up as well, added them in there. A bit of the inf uh, winter infused tangerine um, oils in there as well, so that's just uh, added extra extra flavour into all of that. So um, yeah, just a uh, really good all round great little solid bag mix right there, um, full of little treats, so uh, yeah hopefully it'll bag of fish. Just thought I'd quickly show you where my rods are now as well. Alright. Right, so I'm fishing one rod to the uh, right, to the point of the island, and uh, one rod around halfway out, so nice and simple, hopefully trying to cover a bit of the area. And uh, yeah, with any luck it might, uh, might buy a bite, but um, I've seen one fish show down the other end, so I'm tempted to have a little move in a little while, so we'll see how things go. And uh, yeah, give it our best. All right. Okay then, guys. So what I got here, nice little tester to show you guys how effective the carp craze solid PVA bags are. I've got a fresh container of lake water here. It's around two degrees in temperature. Absolutely freezing cold. So let's see how the PVA reacts. Obviously, due to the uh, carp craze breakdown time, the PVA itself will take literally seconds to finally dissolve. At the same time, it will show you the way the bait itself um, goes in the water. So, obviously, them little pieces of uh, pop-up that I crush up in there are going to rise through the water columns nice and slowly. Um, in this case, unfortunately, I put the lead into the wrong end. It should more or less be more um, in the, in the centre of the bag, giving it a nice balanced effect so it all pins it down nicely. But in general, it shows you guys the release of the PVA in that temperature. Literally, it took around 20 odd seconds. And um, there you go, you can see the little pieces of pop up rising through the water columns. 
So fantastic stuff and uh, definitely worth a go, especially this time of year. So give them a go, guys. Right guys, just a little update, um, been a few hours, been recasting now and again, around four recasts so far, um, just had a little take on the uh, right and rod, um, it's pretty dear to watch I'm actually talking to you guys, um, yeah, right and rod, Bob just zipped right up to the top and just stayed there, you know, um, I was tempted just to leave it, but I thought why not just hit into it anyway, it was getting to the time when I had to recast the rod once again, but um, yeah, it's definitely signs that the fish are around. Break down the other end, just had one, so nice little 12 pound common, which is a uh, definite indication that they are definitely um, sniffing around. So, um, yeah, little solid bag once again, gonna get it back out there. Simple little fluoro 10 miller pop up in there from BM Bates. Yeah, gonna get it nice back and uh, sort of tight to the iron, you know, around a foot off of it. But, um, fingers crossed. Guys, well it's now half twelve. Um, getting some really savage liners at the moment. Uh, might bring the rods back a little bit um, closer in, or I might turn to a zig. But I am fishing slack lines, so um, God knows what it is to be honest with you. Bobbin's always going back to the same original starting position. Um, yeah, it's going a lot more slower than I thought it would to be honest with you. Um, I thought I had at least a couple of fish by now, but obviously not so far. Um, might change spots. Thinking about going down the other end, so. Yeah, we'll soon see anyway. Okay then guys, it's taken a little while but I finally managed to get one out. Nice little weight pan mirror, just taken on the uh, marathon mix pop up, trimmed down slightly. A little split shot underneath it on a nice little blowback rig. Beautiful, beautiful little winter mirror. Um, nice and nice and its prime colours at the moment. Well, happy this one here. Absolutely tore off. So uh, yeah, great stuff. Might get a couple of shots next, I reckon. Okay guys, so it's drawing to the end of the session now once again. Um, light's starting to uh, sort of fade now, so uh, it's going to be pitch black sooner or later. Um, time wise, what we got here, a little look. 20 to 5, so pace closes at 5 o'clock apparently, so we've got 20 minutes or 10 minutes or so to go. Uh, rods are left down on the ground just for the uh, last remainder of the, uh, of the session, last few minutes. Hasn't been uh, awfully bad, you know. Uh, had the one fish, didn't blink at least. Um, was expecting a few more, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Uh, I did lose one pretty much straight after that one on the exact same rod, same place. Uh, just a really, really small one, I reckon it was, because it didn't put much of a scrap at all. It was just, yeah, not much weight to it, you know. But um, thought I'd come down and give it a go. Uh, had a nice little result. So, uh, once again, if I didn't tell you what that was on, that was on a uh, Little marathon mix pop up by BM Bates. Um, nice white and visual. Really smells like nice malty chocolate sort of um, sort of smell to it. And uh, along with that, what I've done, I whittled it down slightly, put a split shot underneath it. Size, size. Oh, I don't know at the moment actually, to be honest with you. <laughs> but um, yeah, simple little split shot just to counter it all down, just pin it down to the ground so the hook's nice and flat. And uh, obviously, I said all the main important thing was when I whittled down the bait. Um, this water in particular, there are a lot of round baits that go into it, so the fish are quite used to them. So if you can whittle them down or anything like that, it really does give you the edge. So, um, yeah, I just don't reckon the fish are on me all the day, you know. They, they came down a little while ago. I think there could be a, a few more around, so uh, with any luck they might go off again. But uh, if they don't, uh, farewell guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll uh, be seeing you once again soon.